have uh, which i have given on the topic of pointers uh, and uh, the last recorded lecture i have sent to you which is also given a topic of pointers the first uh, the discussion about the basics of pointers how to access the pointer variables how to access the address of a variables and how to do pointer arithmetic okay so these sort of lectures i already discussed in the first lecture of previous to previous one and the last previous lecture which i have already sent in the, in this week that is a consist of pointers part 2 that means the pointers how the pointers uh, variables can be accessed through a function and how we can pass address through a calling function and how the pointer variable can access those addresses from a called from from a defined functions okay and i also show how to use array uh, using pointers uh, array and pointers pointers to an array i make a di basic difference between pointers to an array and array and array of pointers okay there is a very important questions frequently this question has come how array are passing uh, in terms of address of pointers i have also shown a bubble sort example uh, in my last lecture recorded lecture where uh, i have shown a bubble sort example in the bubble sort calling function we are passing the address and the size of the array and the receiving function it will receive the the, uh, the first element address of the array by the pointer variable i hope all of you have uh, uh, gone through all all these lectures so uh, that's why uh, but uh, i this this topic that i am going to discuss today that is uh, a new topic Uh, which is you can say the last module of C programming, and the topic name is file handling in C. File handling in C. That means how we can handle files. So files means uh, files means uh, which generally stored within a folder and which generally contains a set of data and set of information. That is called files. Okay. So the file we can handle by the help of C. We can handle any sort of file by the help of C. We can handle text file. We can handle doc doc file. We can handle excel file okay all these files we can handle by the help of c now before i am going to start how to do file handling in terms of c programming i want to tell you that where we actually require the concept of file handling so till now you are using a program where you have given inputs two type of inputs we have given in two ways the first way of input giving that is the compile time input giving and the second way that input giving which is more 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 preferable that is a run time input giving that means you are giving the input through your keyboard right so the thing is that uh, in in this sort of input giving that has some sort of limitation limitations means if the size of the input or the number of inputs are uh, manageable then you can give through the help of compile time or through the help of run time right suppose if i am giving you uh, if if i am telling you to insert the record of 100 student through the keyboard record means their age their details their uh, roll numbers name age address and and also the marks of different semesters so it will be a hectic job for the developer or for the programmer who are giving the inputs through the keyboard compile time will be more difficult more complex so if i will take less complex way that is the, the keyboard uh, uh, input that is uh, giving through the terminal so that is also a quite cumbersome job quite quite complex job for the developer because 100 students input you will have to give so it will take minimum around uh, 8 to 10 hours to give the data of 100 student continuously so now if i will ask you to make an insert of all the students of of your college techno india or irrespective of all the streams so it is also a very difficult job very very difficult job right because then the number of uh, students will be 10 times 20 times and more right so it is actually not a possible way to handle a real life data because real life data which are coming in a big amount or in a, in a in a large volume so nowadays it's an era of big data all of you are very much about this term this are buzz term nowadays like big data machine learn is a buzz term nowadays so big data means generally consists of the data of facebook data tweet twitter data then stock data then any real life data which are coming uh, million trillions of amount in a particular time so it is very difficult to handle those data so that's why the concept of file handling comes into the picture in c what is the job of file handling so you will you can download a big size of data in terms of files or you can store the big size of data in uh, inside a particular file a text it may be a text file or doc file or any other file you can store the data in the in, in the information as a file format and instead of giving individual input through the keyboard or or at compile time 
you will directly read the file of containing all the big data of all the large volume of data by the help of your c program at particular at a at, at a particular moment so obviously it is a very easier for you or, or easier for your your programmer point of programming point of view that by writing a single code by writing a single command or single system defined functions of the file handling you can directly get a input of a large file which will take if you if you give the input of the large file manually by through the keyboard or through the terminal suppose it may take uh, around 10 to 15 days okay so that is the main advantage of using file handling now your job uh, now you you may ask a question sir where we can use this file handling if you will do your final year project or, or any big project okay if you if you associate yourself with a big project it may be a project of any kind it may be a computer science project it may be a mechanical kind kinds of projects where the computer thing is there so data is generating everywhere so data is not a computer science data means is not not a part of computer science or not a part of electrical engineering data is data can be generated from any engineering stream from any place right so whenever you are dealing with data handling so you are actually dealing with file handling and suppose you are you know only the language c you don't know any other language to handle it so you know only a language c so it is a better way to handle the data in terms of files instead of giving a manual input the so manual input is actually not possible to handle any any real life data of a project it's not possible so always you have to know the file handling so that is the job or that is the necessity of learning file handling in c clear if anyone has any question you can ask me right now or you or uh, i will give you a question answer session at the at the end of my lecture or if you have any audio audio problem you can also write your question in your chat box okay i will i will try to answer based on the question you will write in your chat box right so i think i am audible so right now i am going to start you uh, to discuss about the file handling in c so till now anyone has any question you can ask me if you have any sort of question you can ask me or you can write in your chat box okay i hope so that uh, i hope that you don't have any question so let me continue with my rest of the topics uh, um, okay let me share the screen first of my machine this is a file handling in c ha there there was the six to class ho gaya the okay if you, if you don't talk please, please uh, mute your uh, microphone if you don't asking any question if you don't talk please meet me to a microphone please okay so let's start with a discussion of file handling in c right so is it is it visible to everyone i have already shared the screen i think it is visible to everyone so how we can do file handling this is one of the very interesting topics and few question you will get from file handling but this question is are very much common which are generally given in your macout exams or you will you will require this this sort of uh, uh, concept to do your final year project okay which i already discussed now uh, what is file handling in programming we may require some specific input data to be generated several number of times okay i am not going to read out all these things which i already discussed okay you just go go and read it out and try to understand now uh, let's uh, uh, what type of operation we are going to perform through the file handling the file handling in c in c enables us to create update read and delete the file stored on the local file system through our c program clear so in our local file say local file system which actually part of our drives okay c drive d drive e drive so in that local file system obviously i am telling about the file like text file doc file obviously they are generally stored in our either c drive d drive or e drive in our local file system so local file system we can perform this sort of operation like create a file update a file read a file delete a file so this sort of operation we can perform in our local file system through our c program right so mainly uh, we can uh, we our main job is to read a file and write into a file through a c program delete we can do in any any case because we don't need to delete through our program we can directly go to the drive and make a uh, delete uh, directly you can uh, click the click click out the delete button of the file okay so creation of a new file opening an existing file reading from the file writing to the file and deleting the file so these are the file operations okay now let me tell you 
whenever we're trying to writing a file in case of c programming the writing mode also enables the creation mode please let me clear whenever you are going to read a file that file must exist in your local file system whenever you are going to read a file your file must exist in your local file system obviously the file which does not exist in your local file system you are not able to read up read that particular file because error will be there file not found error will be there clear so whenever you are trying to reading a file please make it clear that a file should be present in your local disk right now where you are going to store your program either you may store that particular file which you want to read into the same drive into the same folder of of that program or you can store into any other drive but if you store the uh, file into any other drive then you have to use the entire path c colon slash this 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 so you can uh, use entire path in your program you have to mention the entire path from where you are trying to read your file in your program clear but if it will be easier for me so that's why i will suggest you whenever you are practicing these programs in your home at your home you will my suggestion is that you will store the files which you want to read into the same drive into the same folder where you are going to store your dot c++ file or dot c file okay or dot cpp file whatever you, you are using so functions for handling files so there are a list of functions obviously i am saying that you don't need to create your own function there are already predefined system defined functions exist in in c programming where which we can directly use to do all these operations how we can use it let me check so if open the first and very most important function this if open function is generally used to open a new or existing file so file handling in c which we require a very simple concept of a pointer to uh, to understand the file handling in c that's why i have given the lecture of pointers in the previous case and i told that uh, before appearing this uh, class you have to clear your concept regarding pointers okay but you don't need to get into more details of pointer concept because it requires a very simple pointer concepts to understand the file only a single pointer concept is required how i will show you now if open is a predefined system defined functions which opens new or existing file so this if open can be used to create a new file or open an existing file anything now if printf only printf function we are using to print something into our console or into our uh, wind into our uh, output screen now if means file file printf we are using to print data into the file so file if printf we are using to print data into the file clear if scanf we are using to read data from a file if scanf we will use to read data from a file there is some other process as well to we, by, by the help of which we can uh, print uh, into a file or read uh, from a file i will i will show you that another kind of examples as well now if put c so all of you know the use of put c put c is used to read uh, to write a single character into a uh, to write a single character on a console so if put c means write a single character into the file if means file write if get c read a single character from a file clear if close is a closes the file it is very important when you will open a particular file do all the operation inside the file and you have to close the file that is very important until you are not closing the file you are not reopen the file again in future okay so please remember how many if open statement you are using in your c program the same number of if close statement you should use within your c program as well okay if you open suppose two files if open if open then you will have to use two if close for corresponding those two files i will show you how you can do that now these are the main major function that we are using very frequently okay in our program that i will show you uh, these are the functions we will use in our program now if seek function is to set the file pointer to a given positions okay set the file pointer means always file pointer starts by default the whatever file pointer we will use that will just actually working like an array pointer so i have told in my lecture that array pointer always start with the first element that means that means the zeroth element of the array position always start by default so in the same way in file pointer by default always start with the first character or the first letter whatever uh, wherever your file starts it will it will points to that particular character it will start pointing to that particular character but if seek function is a special function by the help of which we can change the pointer at any position of the file from where you want to start suppose you don't want to start from beginning always the file you want to start suppose from middle position of the file to read or write okay so you can do that by using fseek function clear 
now if put w writes an integer to a file okay if 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 put c write a character to a file if put w write an integer to a file so there's a various function so you you may either use put c if put c or if put w for integer character or you may use if scan if for both integer character okay this is your choice the choice of the programmer which functions he or she will use now if tell if tell please remember you have to un, you have to know all the job of these 11 functions because uh, short questions are coming short notes are coming regarding these uh, functions what is the job of these functions so you have to know it if you don't if you don't use frequently this function so don't worry about it but you have to know it how what is the use of this function now if tell function return the current position if tell function always return the current position current position of what current position of the file pointer suppose you are your your file contains of eight lines suppose eight statements are there in your text file so in this text file suppose you are starting your file pointer from the beginning position and suppose after after reading the four lines of the file now you want to check which one is the current position of your file pointer right now so it will be the beginning of the fifth line so by the way, if tell you can do that you can fetch the current position that will be the beginning of the fifth line clear next one uh, uh, rewind function so in if in rewind function set the file pointer to the beginning of the file okay by the way, rewind function rewind means just like roll back okay roll back means you can wherever the file pointer position is there in your in your in your text file you can uh, by the way, rewind function you can set the pointer position again to the beginning of the file okay so by the way, if seek you can uh, uh, select the pointer position to any position of the file then the, by the help of rewind it's 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 almost doing the opposite operation that it will set the position uh, pointer to the beginning of the file so this is all the 11 functions that you may gradually use uh, we are in our file programs or according to your choice or according to your purpose okay now the next thing how we can open a file very carefully try to follow it so file pointer is there. This is a file pointer and if open function we will use. So this is a general form. So uh, let me show you in, in, in simple form. So I have already told you if you if you store your file within the same folder where your C file has been stored, then you don't need to use the entire path. You, you just only use this thing. That will be enough. I will show you. And if you uh, store your file, or if you fetch your file from any other drive or from any other folder, then you have to mention the whole path. Clear. So second important thing in this file, apart from these functions and uh, this uh, file handling path, the second important thing is that, so uh, in fopen function, what are the things we will pass? We'll pass the file name. File name means this one, including the path or, or the name of the file, including the, uh, you have to mention the uh, extension of the file, which file, which type of file you are trying to read, a text file or, or uh, Excel file, okay. Now, in the second case, the mode. This is very important. What is mode? Mode is a very important thing. The mode in which the file is to be opened, it is a string. Mode is a string to be in which the file is to be opened. It's a mode. Now, these are the following modes that we are using with the fopen function. What are the mode? Not all functions we are using mode. Mainly, we are using modes with the fopen function. So these are the modes, various modes. Okay. Then you have to learn all this, all all about this mode, but Mainly we are using these modes R, W, A. R mode is used to read a file from a text file. W mode is used to, to write into a text file. Okay, so whenever, which operation you want to perform, the developer or programmer wants to perform, according to his or her choice, he or she can choose a particular mode. Okay, then R plus opens a text file in read and write mode. So R plus is for both read and write. W plus, it is also used to uh, both read and write. Okay, A plus for append. This A means for the appending file. Appending file means, that means you will you are trying to uh, add a new uh, statement into a file or new new context into a file after the existing concept context after after the existing statement that means if the file already contains eight statement your existing file then in the append mode whenever you are inserting some values inside the file it will start to insert the value after that eight statement okay from the ninth positions you can say but re, but right mode is always start with a new position it always replace the previous value please remember in w mode if you write something it will always replace the existing value okay it will not appending the value so if you want to append if you don't want to replace the existing value or delete the existing value if you want to append a new value with it along with it then you will have to use the append mode so that's why i'm saying mainly this three mode we are using for our purpose 
then rb mode opens binary file in a read mode suppose you want to open a binary file binary file is something different okay uh, we generally don't use binary file we generally uh, are interested to use our text file notepad we may generally use and notepad are nothing but a text file okay dot txt extension is there now wb open binary file in write mode ab append binary file okay and uh, these are the binary files read write mode plus so generally we are using this first six mode okay and specifically we are using the first three mode read write and append clear so these are the ways of mode and the f open function works in the following way firstly it searches the file to be open which file is need to be open it has to it has to search first then it loads the file from the disk and place it into a buffer and then the buffer is used to provide efficiency for the read operation okay the so local buffer may it, it stores the file into local buffer from the disk and then local buffer will give you the uh, efficiency for read operation and it sets up character pointers which points to the first character of the file okay so i have told that we are using a pointer character to sets up the pointer to a file so i i don't want to explain this code uh, let me do my own code which i already did for you so let's check out this code how we are going to do that so uh, this is a very simple code by the help of which we can by the help of which we can read a file okay we can read a file so let uh, let me uh, open the drive first where i am trying to uh, locate uh, store all this file otherwise it is difficult to you to understand from where i am fetching all this program so it is actually c program and which drive uh, it is e drive c program so let's check it e drive and c program my computer e drive c program so these are the programs where we have stored all the programs which i have already shown you in my previous lectures as well as today's lecture so file is there now our main job is to read a particular file obviously i am telling whenever we are trying to read a particular file obviously we will uh, try to uh, try to follow that that file must exist in your local system okay if you if you are trying to read the file which does not exist in your system then it will throw an error okay it cannot create a new file read mode cannot create a new file read mode cannot create a new file well as write mode can create a new file as well as write into a new file clear let we will check it so this is the program main method okay uh, for file handling we don't need to require uh, include any special packages this uh, file handling is already this this function if open if close all this system defined function of file handling are already stored into this package of stdio.h standard input output now let's check this is a file pointer look how it will look like this drive is very new to you file you have used already used the int care float all this data but these are very special data type which is mainly used for file pointer so this f1 is a pointer name file pointer name i i hope you all of you have a basic concept regarding pointer so f1 is a pointer name and this f1 points to the starting position of the file points to the starting position of the file so care c one data type we are taking why we take this care c variable because whatever value we will read from the file we will store that value into the character one by one and run a loop and print the value into the console or into the output because we will have to check whether the uh, our program correctly read the file or not okay so whatever in, uh, data are present inside the file that should be shown into the output window that is the objective of this file of this file program okay so f1 is a file pointer which points to the starting position of the file which file that's why we will use f open function and we will provide the file name okay if the file resides in other drive then we will have to provide the entire url entire drive path and i actually make it easy i actually make it uh, uh, present in the same drive into the same drive where the program this file read present okay now r i have opened the file into read mode i have already discussed about the various mode now while loop i am running here why while loop it it will read the file the contents of the file character by character and it will print the Print, print those characters into the output window into the output window into the console okay and until there is a last character it will reach last character means which is called end of file this eof is also a part of a special type of pointers which represent the last character of a file this eof 
you have to write capital uf you have to write capital file okay you have to use these things in capital words okay you don't change according to your choice these are already predefined this uf stands for end of file which will represent the ending of a file so your for loop will uh, will 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 repeat it and read the character get c for reading a single character from where from the file pointer f1 f1 points to the starting position of the file and it will read the character one by one store into the files in, into the character c and it will read until not equals to end of file clear so after reading and printing the output into a into the console we will close the file pointer f1 by the f close function and then the rest of the function you already know so let's check it first whether in this drive our read is there or not read file is there no no read text file is there so let me run this code first whether it will give error or not we will check it to reading this file read.txt okay so it will actually uh, look nothing is to is nothing is going to be read here right nothing is going to be read here so the, let let's let's now we will create a read file of text format in this drive how we are going to create just create a notepad in your machine okay store it into e drive where our program resides into e drive c program okay so let me let me do it first programs read the file name and make the extension of the file dot txt okay and we will save it so right i am writing down i am student of techno okay save this content close this file so this is the file read file you, you are seeing that and the read file contains the student now uh, let's check it to run this code whether it can fetch the contents and show into the output or not let, let's check it it is successfully fetched the content and showed into the output clear so this is the way of how we can read a file from a from your local disk okay through the c program now how to write a file that's very much similar only read mode instead of read mode we can create a write mode so we don't need to worry about whether write.txt blank file present or not because it will create a blank file by its own the write mode has the power to create a blank file by its own with this name of write.txt so we don't require to require to uh, know that whether it is present in the drive or not now after creating a blank file what i will do our program will read the value gets gets function we are using to read a string through a keyboard through a terminal you can also scan a percentage as per your choice so gets function i use for taking inputs from the terminal the sentence or string input and writing the string input into a file so look i am using a if printf function i already told i am using a if printf function to write a content into a file which contains which i have read by the help of gets through the terminal that is sentence and that sentence i am providing here percent s okay to print the content into a file pointer f1 file pointer f1 is actually pointing to f open there is no need of f2 right now okay so f1 points to the write.txt file so this is the f close f1 get c so just check it out run this code so enter a sentence hello this is a file program so i am writing this sentence executing this one and i will check whether your local drive will create the file with this name write.txt and it will hold this statement or not that i will check if it does not create if it not hold then there is a problem in your program okay so we'll check what is the name of the file write look the write file has been already created of today's date okay 1 kilobyte size open the file look what i have written into the terminal it has been shown the same content into the file it has been successfully written so let's check it once once more we will uh, run this code and writing a new content welcome student and we will actually want to check it that whether it will append the content with the previous content of the file or it will just replace the new content with the old content look it will successfully replace the old content with the new content so i already told that by the w mode right mode it cannot do the append if you use a mode that 
then you can only perform the append operation clear so a mode i am not showing here a mode i am uh, you will you will practice the a mode append mode by your own at your home okay it is a practice example or your assignment you can say now the next program here in the same file we will uh, read uh, write up uh, write a file and input.txt we will create a file write a statement into the file and close the file and we will open the file again okay open the file again the same name that means whatever we will write the same file will open and read the content and based on the content we will read the particular content we actually providing the numbers within the file instead of sentences we providing the numbers into the file and the number will check uh, the number will acting like a character here and it will check that whether it is even number or odd number that we will do right so let's check it So we will provide the number suppose five. So data output five is odd number. Very clear. So in the input.txt file, there is an input.txt file. You will check it. Here five has been stored. Clear. And it will also check whether the five is odd number even number. That means we are actually performing some sort of processing type of operation by the help of files. Not only only reading and writing, you can also perform some operations over the files. So let's check uh, the one more suppose eight. Eight is the even number even number am i clear so in this way you can check even an odd number by the way read and writing a file this is one sort of program another sort of program now the thing is that you can perform the same sort of program but in different way that means in this program i am trying to calculate the factorial by reading and writing a file writing a file that means creation of a new file stored the number into the file and read the file again by the file pointer and on that number, I am performing the factorial operation. But in this factorial operation, and the difference between these two operations is that generally uh, our our objective is to do factorial operation. That means we are performing some operation on the integer value. So whenever we will read the value in terms of character, the, this code is similar to the previous one. Whenever we will read the value, integer value, which we want to do a factorial of that value, if we read the value in terms of characters, then the factorial operation cannot perform on character because this for loop connection loop is cannot be performed on character successfully okay so that's why we are using this statement this is a very important statement which will actually convert the character into integer right and then on this n number we can perform the factorial very simple so what is c minus single quote zero c is a character whose ASCII value is subtracted from the ASCII value of zero. So you will get the actual ASCII value of that character. So let's try it. Suppose I have given the character five, character five, whose ASCII value is subtracted from zero. Zero ASCII value is 48. And the five ASCII value, character five ASCII value is 53. The character's five ASCII value is 53. You can check it. You can do it to find out of character 5 x is 53 so 53 minus 48 means what 5 so it will convert the character into a corresponding integer that is equal to 5 so that is the logic here so you can do you can subtract any any character as key value from by 0 then you will get that particular value a particular character okay so let's run this code suppose uh, 5 so factorial is 120 okay so it's successfully run let me check one more four it should be 24 clear so this is the way and this factorial logic is common to everyone all of you know that the logic of factorial so this is the way how we can perform a processing operation by reading and writing a particular file clear now the last program that i want to show a copy of file okay several times this program has come that means the very simple uh, re, uh, open a file in the read mode copy the content of the file, open another file into a write mode and just copy and paste, copy and paste the file. Very simple. So I will open the file in F1, by the way, F1 pointer in a read mode, odd even dot txt. Okay, copy the, uh, just uh, try to print the content of the file to check whether it is successfully copy the content of the file or not. Just, just why we are actually printing the file. This is, this is actually optional. You may do that or you, you may skip it. Now closing the pointer of the file F1. Now we'll open the read file as well as write file both because we are doing the copy. Read file and write file both. 
Now we will read each and individual case. So look very carefully. F1 is pointed to the read file and F2 is a pointer to the write file. So our objective is to read the text and copy into clone.txt. Read, read uh, audiven.txt and copy into clone.txt. That is our objective. And we will uh, do it by the F1 pointer, read character by character until end of end of file character. And put C. Put C is a printing of a character C, which we are reading from the F1 pointer. By the F1 pointer, F1 pointer points to which file? Read file. Okay. So reading from the audiven.txt and put C means writing into a pointer into a file which has been pointed by F2 pointer. Which my file has been pointed by F2 pointer? That is clone.txt. Okay. So just run it. This is a file handling. So we'll check in odd.even, odd.even.txt. In odd.even.txt, this is a file handling. So just check it for you. How are you? This is the content I'm writing into an odd even file. And our job is to write this one into a F2 clone.txt. So run this code. How are you? Okay. So check clone.txt whether it has been written. How are you or not? Clone.txt. How are you? So successfully copy and paste the content. Okay. So I will I will stop the lecture here. So I think you will understand. So we don't have enough time to share the lecture. So if you have any question, you can uh, ask.